Hello and welcome to the City Farm Homestead in East Mesa, Free Plant and Garden Stand. Check out this donation. Thank you so much, Deb and Lana. Lana dropped off these little short seed pods, these moringa seed pods, and Deb had these longer ones. So stop by number two or five or six and grab three or four of these seed pods so you can enter the contest. That video is on another YouTube on our YouTube channel on another video. So go check it out for all the details. When you get your seed pod, when you pop it open, you're gonna see these cute little seeds that are gonna come out. You wanna definitely make sure they're brown. There is one here that's white. See how there's that little bit white on it? I don't think that one's viable. Um, so just make a tea with it or toss it out to your compost or your flock. Soak them in some water up to two to four weeks. You're gonna to wanna to change your water every three to five days because that little paper mache that is on the outside there will start to come off and soften and it muckies up the water. So get rid of that. So just pop open those seed pods and get those soaking or plant directly. If you do plant directly, make sure you cover it with some hard wire cloth or protect it because those birds, they'll find that lunch or dinner and you won't have any seedlings pop up same thing with pots. You definitely want to protect your pots. They somehow know there's a seed in there and they're going to come get it before you do. When you do pick your seed pods from your trees when they get older, you want to pick them if you want to make more trees when they're brown. You don't want to pick them when they are green. If you do pick them when they're green, just add that to a soup or a salad or you can even let them dry out, but most likely they're not viable. They're not mature enough. So make sure that they are brown like this and ready to pop open is the best, or at least all the way brown. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see how many we grow. Get those out to the stands. At the end of the July is when the contest ends, so make sure you get out mid-July and soak them and get them growing here pretty quick so that we can get them in the soil while it's hot. Thank you all for participating and together we are going to bring back gardening culture.